Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Simply K back with another video, video, video. Long awaited. This video was supposed to be on Monday, but YouTube was deleting comments for the giveaway. So instead, here we are on Friday. This video is the first cash stuffing for January. It is a little late, but it is here and I am ready to get right into it. So if you are new, thank you for tuning in. I hope that you enjoy this video and I hope that you like it and you want to subscribe and join the family. If you are a returning subscriber, hey girl, hey, hey boy, hey, I am ready for you guys to see what's in store in this video. So without further ado, we're gonna hop right into it. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and let's get into it. So, I have been struggling because I'm sitting here trying to wait to do my video but all my envelopes are empty and i've been going like a week without my money trying not to spend it but i had to spend my gas money so we originally were stuffing 705 dollars but i spent the 50 dollars on gas because obviously i need gas so i can get to work and everything else so whatever that number is minus 705 minus 50 is what we're stuffing today so these are extra dollars that i had a little grimy oh my gosh it was disgusting but since I know that these are the only dollars that I have we're just gonna go ahead and put these in our dollar savings challenge so we have one two three four five six dollars I almost spent these but I was like you have to have something to put in your savings challenge oh shoot and I need my other thing so we're just going to knock out the savings challenges and the coins first. So I'll be right back. I'm going to go get the other envelope. Okay. So. Honestly, I'm going to be honest here. I still have all my dollars from last year. So because I don't know exactly what I want to do with them yet, I'm just going to keep them in this dollar savings challenge. So I'm pretty sure this is either 93 or 96 dollars. I guess we can count just to see. So two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two. 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90, 91, 92, 93. And then we'll add this six in. So we have $99. So honestly, I'm just going to leave this in the dollar savings challenge because I did not go to the bank to get um, the like it bigger bill. So I guess when I get another dollar, I'll switch it out with a hundred, and then we'll go from there. But because I don't know exactly what I want to do with this money, I am just gonna keep saving it. So from last year into this year, we're gonna keep doing this dollar savings challenge. And right now we have ninety nine dollars. So if I think of something, we'll have it. So this savings challenge is the personal savings challenge that I said I was going to do. This paycheck was from um, January 14th. This is going to be the savings challenge, like I said, where I take whatever money I have left over or I like under budget for my check and I put in. This check was a little special um, because... I realized that my job was not paying me um, my like differential so I'm a registered nurse so we get paid for like working certain hours like weekends we have differential night shifts we have differential evening shifts we have differential 
morning shifts we have differentials so I get more money over my like original rate based off these these shift differentials that I work so after paying a little bit of extra money towards my credit card just because I used it and I didn't want to have to have a big payment for the next paycheck I had $240 left so we are gonna go ahead and put $240 in there which is like amazing I was not expecting to put that much in here right away but it's okay 100 200 20 40 I want to be very intentional and sticking to the zero base budget so whatever money I do not account for when I do my budget that is what's going to go into my savings challenge and who knows maybe like this will go to loans I don't know we'll see but this one is so far this one I want to just be personal and things for me so that is that and then we'll do the coins and then we'll get right into the envelopes so the coins I still did not turn in we have 53.93 I think I won't turn it in until it gets full just because like I said I have no like real plans for it right now so we'll just keep stacking this jar up but yeah you guys I noticed on my check that I was not getting paid my differential and I'm like oh no no, 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 because that helps. Like, I worked night shift for, like, um, two weeks or so, and working night shift is, like, an additional $10 to my rate now. So, honey, I needed that money. They ended up owing me, like, $540 and, like, $40 that they had to pay me from all the different rental that they missed. So, this check was a little bit bigger. And then I also have my job paying for, like, I'm doing the tuition reimbursement, and they cover a certain amount throughout the year. So, I also got that money because my last class ended in December, and I submitted that paperwork. So, I got money for that as well, which that, I will talk about later, went, I used that to go directly towards my student loans. So... I'll talk about how much I paid toward that when we get to that envelope. So we have $57.76. Starting to get heavy. And that is that. So now we're going to get into our wallet. Gas is not getting anything even though I am running a little bit low. So um, we'll have to see. But I already put in $50. Ridiculous. Toll is going to be getting $5. We have an easy pass now. So... I kind of just do this just an emergency, like if we forget the easy pass, but we haven't really been going anywhere. Food is going to get 15. Try to give myself just a little bit of something so that, you know, when we're out and about, I can stop and get something to eat. Date night is going to be getting $20. We have not went anywhere, really, so we'll see. We order out a lot, so... That'll probably go to that. Shopping is going to get 15. Do, 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 do. And that'll be it for the wallet. I'm really happy that I like went down on the amount of envelopes I have because I'm just able to be more intentional with every dollar that I get. So that makes me excited. Now we're going to go into our cash envelopes. We're going to start with fun money. I honestly don't even know if everything is updated. So there's nothing in fun money. I use it. Actually, no I did not. Hold up. See y'all. Did I use it all? Oh shoot. I went out to eat. And I had money left over. But dang, your girl don't use it. Mm -mm -mm. That's a shame. See, it's not safe. You don't put it back in the envelope gets used so I'm just gonna start off with the 14th that's when I got paid put in paycheck and fun money is going to be getting ten dollars so we'll have ten dollars in there usually I fill out these slips before but I literally just got done working three days in a row so I had no time to do any of that Self-care I used today. I got my nails and my toes done. And y'all know I was trying to do them at home. But I just wanted to go have a little like self-care time. 
and me not have to do it. So I went to the nail salon, I watched my shows, and yeah. So I'm gonna put the same thing. I used, um, I had 155 in there, and I have 115 left, so I used $40. So, what's going in here is $10, so I'm just gonna update it from, I hate, like, when I don't write stuff in, but it's whatever. 100, 110, 120, 125. So, I added in 10... We have a total of 125. I just, as long as I have that number on there, excuse me, I'm not like bugging out about it. I know what what I mean when I put stuff, when I write stuff. So, emergency fund has 455. It's going to be getting $10 as well. I just wanted to be able to put something in there. So, we have a total of 100, 200, 300, 400. 410, 420, 430, 440, 450, 455, 460, 465. And I'm like really happy where this one's going. So we got 465 in there. And then we have car maintenance, car maintenance, which I guess I could be using, like, I could use this money too for gas, but I try not to do that. Car maintenance has, supposed to have $70 in there. I have not touched it. It's going to be getting $10 as well. So we should have a total of 80 So, 20 30 40 50 60 70 75 80 which is good. So far, so good with the car. Just gas. Medical dental. Which I'm surprised. I did go to the doctors and I didn't have to pay a copay. Interesting. I guess because you're animals, I don't think you have to. Because they're covered. Alright. So, it should have $90 in here. And we're putting in 10 so 10 is just a number this week. I'm trying to come up with a system that like each one is getting something even if it's not like a whole bunch. But I want to be putting at least something in each envelope. So 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 90, 95, 100. So I'm happy that has finally reached 100. I'm good on medicine. I have my allergy medicine. I don't need anything else. So we'll wait and see. Dentists, I don't go to the dentist again until April, so we have time. Now we're going to get into the sinking fund, so birthdays and gifts. I'm trying to beef this thing up. It has $75 in it, and it's going to get 25 today, so we should have a total of 100 My handwriting is just not it today, so I'm tired. Working three days in a row is like... Y'all, I worked 12 hour shifts. It was a crazy, crazy couple of days. Oh, so backstory. Um, I haven't made my video yet, but Lord knows when the heck I'm gonna make it. I work in um the pack you now, which is like a peri anesthesia care unit. Um, it's where you go before you go into the OR, and then we also get you when you get out of the OR, so out of your surgeries. But my orientation, I've been rotating in the ICUs, which are the intensive care units, which are the most critical units on the floor in the hospital. So I have been in the neuro ICU. I did that for a month. I just finished my surgical ICU rotation. And next I'm going to cardiac. So I've been seeing a lot of like critically sick patients, like of course some with COVID, some dying, like a lot of trauma, um, like motor vehicle accidents, just a lot of stuff. Like I've been learning so much, it's crazy, but it's sad. So that's pretty much what I've been doing. So I've been tired, cause it's a lot. Like I see nurses, I give y'all credit because, woo, that's a lot. Um, so 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 85, 90, 95, 100. But I will say it's definitely made my appreciation for life like a lot 
more because of everything that I've been seeing and like just little things like the stuff that can happen to you after a car accident like you never think of like the result of that like some people don't make it out and some people they do and it's just like the damage is just so extensive it's it's just sad because that's something that like I just I hate driving I hate 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 driving because people don't know how to drive and there's always an accident so everyone just be careful out there it just makes me more appreciative and I don't rush and I don't try to speed I'll get there when I get there because I am not trying to get an accident I'm not trying to die I'm not trying to have any of that happen to me so I try to drive like grandma now even though I always have so <laughs> hubby is getting five dollars so he'll have a total of 15 not really saving for anything for him but you know I gotta have an envelope for him vacation we ain't going nowhere really our anniversary is the end of february our one year since we got married and i don't know i'm thinking maybe we can do like a little weekend thing nothing crazy so maybe i'll start saving a little bit more for that so it's gonna get five dollars as well it's gonna have a total of 15 5 10 15 we'll see little weekend trips aren't so expensive so grad school grad school we're already saving for um we're saving for summer already jesus i started writing it but i didn't finish so it's getting 500 one two three four five my spring semester is um fully paid for already done that so this is going towards the summer um, so I think we're saving about like 2600 2700-ish. So starting on that. Textbooks is not getting anything. I'm so mad I bought a textbook for this class and we're not even using it. Christmas is going to get $5. It has 15 mm -mm 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 -mm. Starting off early. I am going to up my um, Christmas too because I had enough but just not as much. So, 10, 15, 20. We're going to go up just slightly. Maybe try to save 500 and then, you know, if we don't use it, we don't use it. Simply K, this is the business. It's going to get $5. We should have a total of 135 after we add that on. So, let's count. What in the world? I'm missing the 10. All right, well, we're going to have 125 because, see, I got to watch myself. I'd be sneaky. 100, 120, 125. I don't know where that $10 went. Mm-mm-mm. Didn't go to my business. And then P.O. Box is not getting anything. It has $5 in there. And giving is going to get 20, I have 25 and it's going to get another 5. So we should have 30. So 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Count it before I write it this time. And that leads into our talk about the giveaway. So $30. And that is it for the cash stuffing. So we stuffed our envelopes, we stuffed our wallet, we stuffed our savings challenge, and we stuffed our dollar savings challenge. So what I did want to show you guys before this video ends is just the update. It's just a short little quick little update on the debt. So Sally Mae, I did pay a payment with this paycheck um, with the money I got back from my tuition in Burp tuition reimbursement like I was telling you so I went ahead and paid um, $1,315 the new balance is $2,686.64 I just want to say I am so happy to see it down and we're just going to keep putting more money towards it so I'm very excited I can see this one being gone soon and then we'll work on the other two and then Sally Mae will be gone Sally Mae will be gone cannot wait but I'm still thinking about refinancing so 
we'll see but thank you guys for watching this video don't forget to like comment and subscribe and stay tuned because the giveaway winner will be announced in like two seconds so I hope that everyone is um, motivated and excited for the goals that they set for themselves this year I was enjoying reading everybody's comments and what you guys are saving for and I hope that we can hold each other accountable and you know do this financial journey stuff together and budget together and save money and pay off debt and do what we got to do to be financially free so thank you guys for watching and I'm so excited to announce that the giveaway winner is insert clip congratulations um i will try to reach out to you but if you have an instagram please dm me so then i can get your information and then i can get your planner sent to you so you can have it and start working it so thank you guys who entered and we will have another giveaway um with the next subscriber milestone but i wanted to do this so that this planner did not go to waste um because it's so beautiful so thank you for watching and i will see you guys in my next video Bye, guys.